Hi everyone, this is Sassy Sarah coming to you for the first time. Um, this is my, my first time in YouTube and I hope to kind of share with you my journey as I'm trying to prepare for my daughter's first birthday party. Um, some of you might be aware, but um, decorations and preparations for a birthday party can get quite pricey really quick. And I had a set budget for myself, but there are some things that I wanted to splurge on and some things that I felt I could do on my own. And so I just wanted to show you something really quick. Um, it could be very simple. Maybe for some of you, you already know how to do this. Um, but for some of you who don't know, um, how to do a cutout. And it seems very simple, but I found so... I had to create my own, basically, because I found so very few of the theme that I was doing, which is a uh, Princess Strawberry Shortcake or Berry Fest Princess. Um, and I, I picked this theme, falling in love with an actual cake, which is the first thing that I saw when I fell in love with the theme. However, I didn't realize how scarce the party supplies for this theme were. Um, the new version of Strawberry Shortcake is very popular and you'll find it both on the internet and in party supply stores. However, I struggled finding um, any supplies for the Berry Princess. And if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, this is the Berry Princess. Um, and this is really what I, what I quickly wanted to cover today, which is a cutout. I created this cutout. Um, and again, it's very simple and I'll show you the steps. All you're going to need is paper, uh, laminated sheets, and a scissor. Um, so the first thing I did was I went on the internet and I basically downloaded a picture of the Berry Princess. Um, and also a copy just like this. I printed something out like this because this is the same princess just with her hat on on a regular day. Um, and so I just printed out the princess theme and I use my scissors to cut out my princess. When I cut out the princess, this is just the paper one, I haven't done anything to it, I just cut it out, I trimmed it around the edges and then I went to my staple store and I purchased the quick lamination self-adhesive from Avery um, and basically you don't need any machinery to work with this lamination. It basically laminates on itself. It seals itself, which is perfect because I didn't have any other money to be buying another machine to do extra work. Um, so this is really easy. It's very simple. When you open the package, you basically get a sheet like this. And what I simply did was, once I had my cutout, I placed my cutout on the sheet. like so. I peeled off the back, which is the actual lamination. I peeled off the back and by the time uh, what I did was I sealed it on itself with the lamination so that when everything was done and covered with, all I had to do was get my pair of scissors and once again cut. And I end up with the actual laminated and you probably can't tell the difference right now but this is surely not laminated um, cut out and so this is my paper one and this is my laminated one as you can tell this is much sturdier and I'm gonna be using this for some centerpieces that I'm planning to um, create and hopefully when I get all the pieces and the supplies, I can also show you how I'm going to be doing my centerpieces with this. And so this will be the center part of the centerpieces that I will use. This, um, because of the lamination, it's sturdier for me to put into my centerpieces or whatever else I want to attach it to, whether it's balloons or um, uh, napkins or even as... Um, it can be anything that you want to create with it. It's just the size that you want to use it for and uh, the task you want to use it for. Now, if this were still too flimsy for you, if you didn't feel that this was sturdy enough, you always have the option of um, taping it to or gluing it into a cardboard piece or a card stock, which is really what I, I got. And I um, this is really my first prototype. And so you can just glue it onto the card stock and then uh, laminate it and then cut it off and you'll still get this. 
So hopefully that's made some sense. Um, if you have any further questions about how I did this or any other questions of what I might use this for um, or any comments, just leave it below. Thank you. Bye.